Hey, it's Natalie Zafat, and today I'm talking with the Public Safety Network's Jason Karp and Vicki Lee about how to effectively communicate and collaborate during a major public safety incident. In the past, in a large-scale emergency, what would happen to our wireless networks and how would this impact first responders? What happens during an emergency is, as you know, the public all jump on their cell phones and that has the effect of creating significant congestion in the network. Everybody is going to be jumping on, trying to phone their loved ones, text their loved ones, Facebook, Snapchat, what have you, to let them know how they're doing. And so what that did was could just make the network so congested that first responders could not talk to each other on wireless networks. They had to rely on their land mobile radios because they just couldn't get a signal. That is not an acceptable solution when it comes to emergency and critical communications for public safety. As FirstNet rolls out, how is all of this changing? The FirstNet network is going to change us dramatically. It really has created a paradigm shift in leveraging wireless communications in mission critical situations. Um, and it's doing that by solving the very problem we just talked about. It's essentially creating a virtual separate network for public safety so that when the networks are congested due to emergency, public safety will always have the opportunity to get through. First responders now will have priority and preemption on the network, which means that they will always be first in line. If there are commercial users that are you know, interfering with a particular cell sector, they will basically be pushed off or rerouted to another band. So they have the priority, they can preempt commercial users, and they also have secure end-to-end -end encryption on the network plus the reliability of always-on connectivity with a 4.9's availability on FirstNet. For more videos like this, subscribe to our channel.